Hello, I'm Ilaria Maselli, Senior Economist at the Conference Board, and this is your June Economics Watch Brief for Europe. We expect the slow growth environment in the euro area, which emerged during the first half of the year, to continue during the second half. Leading indicators suggest a strong moderation in the growth outlook later in 2018. Thus, our 2018 estimate for GDP growth in the euro area is now 2%, slightly down from what we expected at the start of the year. At the same time, core inflation has started increasing. In May, it was 1.5%, up from around 1.2% for the past year. Headline inflation figures, which include volatile energy prices, reach 1.9% in May. Inflation in the euro area has not been this close to the target rate of 2% for a while. If it persists, it may spur the ECB to wind down quantitative easing faster than expected and raise interest rates next year. The prospect of rising interest rates brings into question the sustainability of debt levels around the euro area. The case of Italy, with a debt-to-GDP ratio of 132%, immediately comes to mind. Previous governments in Italy have managed to curb public spending and keep a primary budget surplus in the range of 2% of GDP, even in recession years. However, the new government, a coalition of two extreme parties, may not be as attentive to concerns about high debt levels, whether they come from Brussels or from financial markets. Moreover, the new administration has not yet explained how tax reform and the new welfare policies will be financed. Another European market to continue monitoring closely is the UK, where declining consumer expectations and a weak housing market have been driving down the leading economic index. For the UK, we expect output growth of 0.9% in 2018, which is on the pessimistic end of the spectrum among forecasters. I'm Ilaria Maselli, and this was your Economic Watch Brief for Europe.